So, uh, good day sir. I am Mark Arisgado and this is my presentation of data gathering. For the table of contents, we have um, methods of data gathering, uh, classification of data, levels of measurement, and lastly, statistical instruments. So for the methods of data gathering, we have uh, two sides, which is direct method and indirect method. Uh, for direct method, uh, it includes uh, observation and interview where you get the information firsthand. In, uh, in indirect method, uh, it includes ways in which you can obtain the needed data without your actual presence. So, for example, for a direct method, so the researcher sets a particular time and date to talk with the respondents in his study. So, that is direct method. And uh, for the example of uh, indirect method, the researcher uh, checks the school records for the average grade of his uh, respondents. Let's get another example for direct method. So, the researcher measures the actual heights of his respondents. So, that is the another example of direct method. And, of course, uh, we will get another example for indirect method. So, the researcher retrieves journal in the library. So, that is another example of indirect method. Next is uh, classification of data. So we have qualitative data and quantitative data. So what is in, in the qualitative data? So we have categories that shows uh, classification or at, uh, attributes. Next is gender, uh, marital status, grade level, and uh, senior high track or strand. For the quantitative data, we have the numbers of values that represent counts or measures, weight, numbers of siblings, and uh, hours spent in studying. So, uh, for the example of uh, qualitative data, we have a conditioner brand, mode of uh, transportation. So, for the quantitative data, we have a glass of water that you consume every day. Uh, that is a example of quantitative data next is the number of loyal customer in a store so you can uh, write that in a quantitative data uh, hours spent in browsing the internet so that is also a quantitative data next for the level of measurement this four level of measurement will help you uh, determine what practical or sensible processes to employ in analyzing your data so we have nominal this is the data that are uh, categorial, for example, gender, nationality, or uh, civil status. Next is ordinal. This is the data that are in ordered or ranked categories. Uh, example, uh, rating, like good, better, or best. Uh, ranking, like uh, first, second, second, or third. Next is interval. This is the data that have no real zero, like example temperature because having a uh, degree uh, zero degrees does not mean uh, no temperature. Next is ratio, uh, that uh, the, this is the data that have real zero, like weight because zero kilograms mean no weight at all, right? So uh, for the example, like um, religion, so that is nominal. Uh, academic awards that is ordinal intelligence uh, quotient that is interval and years in service of policeman that is ratio for the statistical instrument statistical instruments are devices or tools that uh, used to gather data some of the common stati statistical instrument are questionnaires checklist rating scale test items and many more these instruments are used to gather essential information to answer the uh, given problem. Reliability of an instrument means that it always gathers the relevant data that it intended to while validity of an instrument means that it gathers accurate data. Statistical instrument type of questions. So we have closed uh, questions which is format questions it is a question was uh, responded response is uh, restricted and uh, predefined for the respondents to choose from the like multiple choices 
and alternative response such as true or false, yes or no, and agree or disagree. And we have open question which is format questions. It is a question whose response is not uh, limited. It elicits a uh, uh, throughout answer or explanation. So the example of uh, open question is why do you need a cel uh, cellular phone? And uh, which part of the event did you like the most? So that is the example of open questions. So for the example of closed questions, um, which do you prefer? Milk tea or soda? Next, is calamansi a vegetable? Next, on a scale of 1 to 5, how satisfied are you in the product? So that is the example of closed questions. And thank you for listening to my video presentation, sir. I hope uh, I presented it correctly as you presented uh, uh, it to us. So thank you, sir. Uh, have a nice vacation, sir, and um, wish you all the best.